What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here back again and I wanted to talk about grading companies, right? AFA versus Collector Archive Services. And so, uh, as you see here in front of you, I got some examples of some, uh, both AFA and Collector Archive Services graded figures, you know, carded and loose here. And of course, here on the left, these are both graded by AFA. Here on my right, both graded by Collector Archive Services. And I wanted to do this video not to bash any of the companies because they're both great companies and I still use both companies, right? So. Uh, uh, for my loose Kenner Star Wars action figures, I sent them over to uh, AFA, and of course, anything that's uh, a, like a exclusive Black Series figure, you know, carded or box, I send it over to AFA. And then, of course, you know, if I have any, uh, you know, bootlegs or anything other than Star Wars loose, I send it over to Collector Archive Services. And of course, I'm starting to send in my, uh, you know, vintage collection figures over to Collector Archive Services for grading. And so, I wanted to do this uh, just to, uh, you know, share my thoughts on it and of course you know go over some of the things that are to me the most important part of uh, the grading companies right because I mean pretty much we have two big major grading companies here in the US right we got uh, the action figure authority and then of course we have the uh, collector archive services and you know what I'm saying uh, you know some people have a preference on either one and I, hey that's 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 totally fine uh, I just wanted to do this video because I know a lot of people always ask me like hey who where where should I send my figures in should I send it into AFA or should I send it into collector archive services and, and look man they're both great companies right uh <clears throat> The one thing is, of course, like AFA has been around and more people know it. Uh, but you know what? Collector Archive Services now, you know, has, has some time under their belt and everything like that. And, you know, people now uh, will, you know, definitely pick up a, a AFA graded item or a Collector Archive Services uh, item. Um, so it, it's really up to you. And, and I kind of wanted to break it down into uh, different kind of like categories. Uh, definitely what I want to talk about is uh, what they grade and what they archive both the uh, you know AFA and collector archive services then I wanted to talk about you know their memberships because they don't they both offer memberships and then I wanted to talk about their timelines and then of course their prices and then um, you know give you my personal thoughts and also I wanted to include you know the uh, the, the, the one that uh, everybody probably does not want uh, when they send in figures and that's uh, rejection or, or rejected figures right and, and pretty much the no-goes uh, that that you know they come back or, or whatnot so I wanted to talk about those different categories but the first one I want to you know discuss right here is of course what they grade what they archive now uh, I'm gonna go start off with uh, AFA so AFA right now when it comes to loose action figures the only thing that they're grading at the moment right now is loose Kenner uh, Star Wars action figures that is the only thing that they're doing so uh, that that's it if you have a loose uh, you know transformers or uh, you know he-man gi joe whatever uh, they're not going to do it now if it's carded or box or whatnot they'll do it so anything that's carded or box sealed whatnot uh they will grade uh but that's the only thing about afa is like for right now for loose stuff uh, they're only doing uh you know loose you know kenner star wars action figures now when it comes to collector archive services they'll do anything right anything so uh you know when it comes to loose action figures they'll they'll grade anything you want uh, again, also with their carded or boxed items or whatnot, uh, they'll they'll do that. They'll archive it. They'll grade it. So uh, they actually do too. They'll grade it. Uh, they could grade your items, or uh, if, if something's open or whatnot, or um, you know, if, if it's an item that is not really. Uh, <sighs> I would say if it's like unique, they will archive it, right? Uh, they will do that. So of course I got some examples here, right? So uh, for uh, AFA, of course, you know, here I got my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? This is uh, graded by AFA, as you can see the label right there. Uh, again, AFA, this is recently, I just got this uh, graded what last year or whatnot, and they will do anything carded uh, or box from other toy lines. Now, uh, you know, that that's what they're doing, right? And then, of course, with loose stuff, they're, they're only doing uh, Star Wars stuff. I'm going to push this person all the way back there. Yeah. And then, of course, for uh, 
collective archive services, like I said, if you want anything unique or whatnot, then they'll do it for you. As you can see right here, uh, this is my custom display of the Kevin Eastman's, you know, personal collection, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And of course here I have uh, Raphael from uh, the Toon Collection. And I love this piece, man. This is a beautiful piece. Like I said, uh, I, you know, he signed it on the card back. I wanted to preserve that card back. And of course, uh, Kevin Eastman signed right there on Raphael. So I wanted to preserve that. And as you can see, the, the accessories are just absolutely gorgeous. I love the display. This is one of my favorite displays that uh, Collector Archives has done for me. And so, uh, so that's what, you know, that's the difference between the companies. Again, AFA only loose uh, Star Wars action figures from Kenner. Uh, anything else, box or carded, AFA will do. Uh, when it comes to collector archive services, they'll do anything at the moment right now. If you wanted to, uh, you know, have your uh, pajamas archived, you know what I'm saying, next to your first, you know, uh, Christmas gift or whatnot that was a, let's say, a Kenner Star Wars action figure, they'll do that, man. They'll display your PJs right there onto the acrylic case with your carded uh, Star Wars fig, man. They will do it for you. That's the one thing I will say a uh, collect archive services is really good about is like they they really have that customization to their uh, cases right here I'll just leave that right there so you guys could admire it uh, so the other thing I will not talk about of course so that's 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 grading and archiving for both companies right so uh, they both have their uh, you know their ups and downs and stuff like that mostly more downs for AFA uh, the no goes all right so the refusal uh, grading you know figures or whatnot Let's talk about AFA. So AFA, when something gets refused, right? And if you've been grading for a while, you probably had one of these already happen to you. But when something gets refused from AFA, you don't know it until it comes back to you and you get a little slip and it says refusal report. That's the bad part about AFA. AFA just doesn't contact you nothing like that they take your money and they send you a paper saying why it got refused it could be a repo weapon it could be that the figure got touched up uh, and, and and so on so uh, that's the reason why uh, things get refused and uh, AFA doesn't do anything about it they just pretty much give you a report and they send your figure back to the way you send it to them and that's it they, they take your money now collective archive services has a, a very awesome uh, policy uh, where they pretty much the refusal policy uh, where, or the second chance I think is what it's called but uh, pretty much they'll contact you uh, and and let you know uh, what's wrong with the figure or whatever that you're getting graded or archived and give you you know time to fix it you know go locate the the, the actual you know accessory or, or whatever missing piece or um, you know they'll just give you options on what you want to do that is the bonus about collect archive services. You know, like I said, AFA just doesn't do that. They just, you know, just give you a report and that's it and they take your money. At least uh, what collect archive services are actually willing to work with the collectors and I love about that. So those are the big things right there that I want to talk about. Uh, the rest of the stuff, like I said, uh, the, the, the timelines, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the memberships and the prices, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, I, I want to talk about more kind of like in depth now for, for this video and to make this video somewhat, you know, short, uh, I'm only going to use the example of loose, uh, Kenner Star Wars action figures. And then of course, carded, uh, modern, uh, you know, Star Wars action figures. So, you know, like the vintage collection and stuff like that. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to head over to the computer, check out their websites, and that way I could give you more information. So let's talk about memberships. And here, as you can see, we're at the Collector Archive Services uh, website. And so I'm going to go ahead and start off with them first because they got a little bit more, uh, they, they, it, their, their membership's a little bit more beefy, uh, I would say, uh, compared to AFA. So uh, here we're at their homepage, right? You scroll all the way down and then you'll find the, uh, the two memberships that they offer. Uh, like I said, they have these two, right? And they're a little bit more beefy than what uh, AFA has to offer. So the first one here, they have the completest membership. And then of course the second one here they have the super collector membership so let me go with the first one the completest membership uh, so this one has an annual subscription of $249 right so what's included you get 10% discount on all your submissions you get one 
free seven day turnaround uh, express submission on any carded item or box item which is uh, valued at a hundred dollars uh, you get one free submission of any standard carded uh, action figure which is valued at fifty dollars and then of course you get one free submission of any standard loose uh, Star Wars action figure which is valued at thirty five dollars and then they're throwing in a, a you know collect our Christ services uh, t-shirt there which is valued at 20 bucks now of course this whole thing is valued at $249, right? When you add up everything here, it pretty much costs, if, if you if you do everything without, like, let's say this membership, right? If you're doing the uh, the seven day express, you submit one, you know, uh, carded item, one loose item, and you buy a t-shirt, let's just say, then everything adds up to $250. So it's a, it's a savings of a dollar, right? Uh, but where the real money maker is, is of course that 10% discount, because uh, with that, let's just use the example of sending in one carded item over to Collector Archive services which is around $50 uh, with that 10% you're saving about $5 so uh, so that $5 right if, if you wanted to pretty much add up or, or uh, accumulate to the uh, the cost of this membership which is $249 you would pretty much have to send in 50 carded items within a year to actually add up to that for uh, that that 249 you know what I'm saying price tag on that membership uh, is it doable yeah you know you have a whole year to submit uh, 50 uh, carded items so is it doable yeah of of course it is uh, but that's the that's the first membership right it's not too bad and everything like that but where the money maker is at right where you're saving a lot of money is the next one which is the super collector membership here so this one has an annual subscription of $4.99 so it's pretty pricey right it's $500 uh, with this one you do get a 20% discount on all your submissions you get three free seven-day Express turnaround on any carded or box item which is valued at $300 you get three free submissions of any standard carded action figures which is valued at $150 and then and of course you get three free submissions of any standard loose uh, Star Wars action figures which is valued at a hundred and five dollars now <clears throat> you, and then of course you, you get that uh, the you know, collector archive services t-shirt which is valued at twenty dollars when you add everything up right again if you're doing all of this on, on your own without a membership uh, you know sending in three things that are uh, seven day Express sending three uh, carded items sending three loose items uh, this is actually valued at five hundred and seven $75 so uh, you're pretty much saving about you know $76 right so uh, this is where the money maker is at uh, again the, the 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 same principle applies here right you get a 20% discount on all your submissions so going back to the example of sending in uh, you know a, a carded item to collect the archive services which is valued at $50 with that 20% discount you're getting $10 off so the math is pretty much the same right you you would have to submit you would have to submit 50 carded items within that year to actually make up the 499 so the the, the you know the discount pretty much applies to kind of almost the same on both memberships um, you would still have to submit 50 items you know carded items and in the example that I'm using uh, with my crazy math and everything like that to actually add up to the value of the membership to actually get your money's worth right there uh, but I would say definitely the super collector membership is the best one it, it does have a hefty price right $500 like that kind of that kind of blows uh, but you know you are paying I mean pretty much you are paying for uh, uh, you know six submissions right three loose and then three carded and then plus you have you know the option of or adding the the, the uh, seven day turnaround to those three carded or box items um, so it's not too bad right uh, so those are the two right there from collector archive services though like I said I wanted to do those first because they are pretty beefy now uh, if you do have a membership and let's say they have a promotion going on uh, then obviously you can't use both at the same time so uh, it's either gonna be the membership or uh, you know the, uh, the whatever holiday or, or whatever you know special they're going on so let's go ahead and transition over to AFA uh, AFA doesn't really have too much so here we're at their home page uh, if you go down to uh, the collectible grading authority uh, membership that's where you're gonna find information about their uh, the grading um, memberships here so they have three of them right they offer three so you have a silver uh, level membership which is uh, $99 a year you know annual subscription it gives you a 10% discount uh, you have their gold level membership which is a hundred and ninety nine dollars annual subscription and then you have their platinum uh, level membership which is uh, $399 uh, per you know year or annual subscription uh, now each one of these 
they do give you a, a, a different rate on a discount so the silver level is going to give you 10% discount the gold level is going to give you 15% and then of course the platinum level is going to give you uh, 20% so okay so I, I kind of did a little math here so all right so let's talk about the silver one right so $99 a year you get 10% going back to uh getting a carded uh i'm and, and this is because uh you know afa is a little bit different here so they they have modern and then they have like vintage carded stuff right so i'm going to use the example of a carded modern carded figure uh which is pretty much anything that's from 2000 till today uh and and then we're going to go ahead with their express right so their express turnaround is pretty much 60 to uh 80 uh days so pretty much this this one's a little bit uh you know it's, it's a little bit crazy here so uh pretty much if you were to send in one carded item right on the express tier which is 60 to 80 day uh turnaround it's costing you 32 dollars. so you're pretty much saving about three dollars and 20 cents so pretty much on this one you would have to send submit 31 carded modern figures to actually add up to the value of the silver membership now for the gold membership here again using the example of a modern carded action figure staying on the same staying on the same uh, uh you know tier the express tier which is 60 to 80 days valued at 32 dollars you would you would save uh four dollars and 80 cents per submission and then of course you would have to submit 41 carded uh you know modern action figures to add up to the 199 dollars now for the platinum membership uh again staying with the same uh you know item the same example here a modern carded action figure uh you know from 2000 till today on the same tier express 60 to 80 day turnaround valued at 32 dollars you would save six dollars and 40 cents per uh, submission but you would have to submit 62 carded uh, modern action figures to add up to the platinum level uh, membership cost, which is uh, $399. So like I said, uh, the, the, the collector archive services definitely has a little bit more oomph to it, right? Because they give you more stuff. Uh, with AFA, they're pretty much, you're, you're paying a little bit less, right? You're paying less, of course. Uh, but the only thing that they're doing is giving you a discount pricing on the submission. Now, at the bottom there, as you can see, they did add something new that were, they said uh, many additional features and specials are planned to, to, to be added to all membership levels. Now, I don't, I don't remember ever seeing this. I, I don't remember. I, honestly, I can't remember seeing that little uh, text there. I don't know how long it's been there. I don't know if that's recent or whatnot. But uh, if they were to plan to add more, uh, you know, specials or features or whatnot uh, onto these memberships, then maybe that would kind of change the, the game around here. But I, I would definitely have to say that Collector Archive Services has, has, has a... Uh, pretty much has a, 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 a up on on um afa on, on the membership here because you know with afa you're just getting a discount and that's pretty much it now if they add other stuff and everything like that uh then that might change the, the 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 game here between the two grading companies all right guys so let's talk about turnaround times right and then we'll go into prices but uh those are like really the two main things that really matter to me is turnaround times and prices right because i don't want to send in a figure that's going to take forever and it's going to cost me a boat a, a buttload of money so uh pretty much you know uh they're 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 a little bit different between the two companies i, I would definitely say they have their own system so i'm gonna start out with collector archive services here again we're at their home page i'm gonna go down to uh, submissions and then i'm gonna go down to the turnaround time here and just to get more information about what they offer so as you can see here we have three different tiers uh and then of course it talks about their um you know their express turnaround like so here's the thing with collector archive services do you have a choice on how fast item or how fast you want your items to come back it's kind of a yes and no question right P or answer um because the way it works is like whatever you're sending in is going to fall into those three different tiers now yes you do have the option on how fast you want your item uh to return to you because you do have the 48 hour uh express and then you have the seven day express turnaround option but it is going to cost you afa uh you do have options on how fast you want your items because they have different tiers they you know collect the archive services here has different tiers 
themselves but it depends on what you're submitting and then those different tiers have their own turnaround time so let's talk about tier one so tier one has a turnaround time of 30 days to 60 days now this is any carded or box item and only loose Star Wars action figures and that that could be with the coin or without a coin it could be uh, baggies or, or you could submit a, a coin you know um, uh, you know a mailer a store pack or whatever right like single pretty much almost like single items here um, it, it falls into a tier one or anything that's carded or box that is still sealed regardless of what toy uh, toy line it is it's gonna fall into a tier one uh, tier two gets into anything anything loose that's outside of Star Wars so if you have the transformers you know he-man uh, you know Thundercats whatever any any anything that's loose other than Star Wars is gonna fall into a tier two now this also includes if you want like let's say GI Joe's if you have a file card or not they'll, they'll, they'll fall into a tier two uh, so tier two is pretty much any loose stuff that falls outside of Star Wars okay um, <clears throat> and that, that's also for like vehicles and, and so forth like that now a tier three a tier three is kind of like a complex kind of uh, if, it, if it requires a tier one and a tier two item then it's gonna fall into a tier three or a tier three could be also like a custom um you know encasing archiving or grading items so like if you want something super custom and stuff like that that's gonna fall into that tier three like again you do and you do not have an option on how long this stuff is gonna take you do because you can opt into their 48 to 7 day uh, turnaround options right their express option uh, but then you don't because depending on what you send in if you send in a GI Joe then it's not gonna fall into a tier one it's gonna fall into a tier two right so that's pretty much collector archive service now going to uh, AFA Again, here we go. Uh, we're at their uh, homepage. We're gonna go to the submission center and then go down to pricing and tier codes. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the pricings yet. I'm just gonna focus on to uh, the dates. Now, to make this easy, because AFA really does break it down by like sizes and everything like that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just talk about a. A simple example right so we're gonna go with the modern grading scale which is pretty much I'll just use the example of a Hasbro Star Wars vintage collection carded figure right and uh, so here as you can see they have four tiers but one just recently closed so that uh, economic one just recently closed as you can see the text that's in red those are recent changes so uh, that pretty much changed um, they, they closed that down Express got bumped up I believe it was 30 days 30 to 60 days I want to say but now it's 60 to 80 days so uh, here again with the carded stuff you do have the option of well three options now right so you have Express which is gonna take 60 to 80 days uh, you have the premium which is gonna take 14 to 21 days or you could do the archival um, which is gonna take 7 to 10 days and then you also get the uh, UV upgrade on your acrylic case so here it is a little bit different like I said these companies do it a little bit different uh, you do have an option here here on how fast you want your item and this is like I said I'm just gonna use the example of a carded uh, a modern carded you know uh, vintage collection um, figure all right so that's that and then of course if we go to the loose stuff here again going back to what I was saying in, in, in the beginning of the video AFA is only doing loose Star Wars figures they're not doing anything else loose vintage star wars figures so if you have anything else uh outside of uh, a kenner star wars figure then they're not gonna accept it okay so uh pretty much here you do have uh again three options you had four options but they close uh they close that fourth option now and so you have three options here so you have uh the ar archival premium and express express you have four weeks that like i said the text in red is a recent change so pretty much right now it takes four weeks for an express and that's gonna you know that's that's how long it's gonna take you for a premium it's gonna take you 14 to 21 days and then for archival it's gonna you know take you uh, seven to ten days so uh, going back to what I was saying they're both different with their turnarounds right I would say AFA almost I would say they kind of have the upper hand on this one because you do have the option on picking your uh, your turnaround times right is it a lot more money? I, I, yes, we'll, 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 we'll talk about the prices. Uh, but I would say AFA, you definitely have options on how fast you want your items. Uh, we, 
either if it's a, a loose Star Wars, you know, action figure by Kenner, or if it's anything uh, box or carded, um, you do have the option on how fast you want your items sent back to you collect the archive services it really depends on what you're sending which tier it's going to fall into but again yes you do technically you do have the option it is going to cost you though but you do have a 48 hour rush or a seven day express uh turnaround so that's pretty much the turnarounds right there for these two grading companies all right so let's talk about those prices right i mean this is a uh... So the prices here is going to be kind of on your preference on what you want. Uh, do you want to pay a little bit more and get your items faster or do you want to pay a little bit less and wait a little bit longer to get your items? It's really going to be up to you. I mean, th the prices here is really going to vary on just how fast you want your items. You know what I'm saying? So um, I I'm going to go ahead and start off with Collector Archive Services. Now, I already did a search here and this is for, uh, you know, Hasbro Star Wars Carded figures right so uh, pretty much here again uh, here as you can see just your standard carded figure right there could range from $49.99 to $59.99 really just depends on the size right so if it's a three and three quarter inch figure it's gonna cost you pretty much $49.99 uh, if it's a six inch then you, you're paying a, you know the extra ten dollars right there for uh, for a six inch you know black series uh, figure there so as you can see pretty much the, the prices are all here are the same for a carded figure uh, so that's pretty much how you're, you, you know, that's, that's pretty much what you're paying for, right? Now, like again, going into the tiers, if, if I'm gonna send in a carded figure over to collect our archive, archive services, then that's gonna fall into a tier one, which is this turnaround is gonna be uh, 60 or 30 to uh, 60 days, right? So pretty much that's how you're gonna be, that's how long you're gonna be waiting. It could be a little bit longer, right? Just depending on how uh, backed up they are, but that's gonna be 30 to 60 days turnaround. Now going to AFA, AFA is a little bit different. Again, going to uh, the modern scale, right? Um, and if I'm sending something in, uh, I, I then um, I, I could pay a little bit less, right? I could pay a little bit less. Like as you saw, the lowest right there was for a vintage collection uh, carded figure was uh, $49.99. Here I could be paying $32.00 but I am gonna wait a little bit longer. Uh, so here I could wait, you know, 60 to 80 days. Now I could get it a little bit quicker, uh, you know what I'm saying, and pay the $37 and actually I'll be paying a little bit cheaper and getting my uh, carded figure a little bit faster than collect our archive services. So it really just depends, you know what I'm saying? And, and of course, this is what they three and three quarter inch figure right there at that 37 price. Uh, I think it goes into a custom size one once you go into like a black series uh, figure, that's gonna cost you $66. So uh, it, it really depends, see how, it, you can see how the prices really change between the companies uh, when you look at collect archive services you're paying 49.99 for a you know 30 to 60 day turnaround here for a 14 to 21 day turnaround you're paying 37 dollars so yeah you're getting it cheaper and you're getting it faster uh but when it, then when you move on to the next bigger item right like let's say uh the, the black series uh figures then it, it makes kind of a little bit more sense to kind of go with the collector archive services because you're going to be paying a little bit of less you are going to wait a little bit more but if you want to pay a little bit more you could get it a little bit quicker with afa so it it's it's really your preference man it's really your preference uh the, the prices are, are pretty much you know all over the place uh between these two companies it, it's they're they're not like match to match you know what i'm saying uh if we go to afa's uh loose right this is a uh, star wars uh you know loose graded figures here uh the minimum that i could be paying here is forty dollars and that's four weeks right four weeks uh so here if i go uh, to collect our archive services and let me just go ahead and uh let me just put um let me just change this up to kenner right and then let's see here the loose is there loose is there loose is there loose yep there's loose all right and then we'll do a search here. And so for Kenner stuff, I think it's around the 30, I want to say the 37, $35 mark. Yeah, 35. So 34.99, right? So pretty much as you can see right here, uh, you have, you know, all these loose figures right here. So pretty much sending in a Kenner, you know, Star Wars loose action figure, you're paying about 
$34.99, right? Uh, and again, that's gonna fall into that tier one category, right? So that's gonna give you that 30 to 60 day turnaround. Now, when I go over to AFA here, uh, I'm, I'm paying pretty much the same price here, uh, but I'm waiting four weeks, right? So four weeks, there's uh, seven days in, in a week. So four times seven, that's gonna give me 30, 30 or no, not 38, no, 28. Ah, man. Uh, so that's going to give me 28 days, right? So, uh, you know, I, I could get it, uh, you know, I could get it a little bit quicker there, you know what I'm saying? But that's four plus weeks. So it could be a little bit longer, man, because I, I, I have been waiting for a little bit for uh, some loose action figures. Uh, and I believe they're a little bit backed up, and that's why they added that plus right there, uh, because they are taking a bit longer than, than four weeks. But as you can see there, there, there is a difference though. So, you know, the fastest they say is 28 days here they're saying the fastest is 30 days uh but obviously you know these companies are backed up man don't you know what i'm saying they are backed up like it's crazy how much stuff they get especially when it comes to star wars stuff they get a lot of stuff in right now and also you know i think um collect archive services made an announcement that they're going to be moving to a new facility a bigger facility just you know i mean these a lot of people man there's a lot of creators out there it's pretty it's pretty crazy uh again you know what i'm saying like going back to afa here right uh premium i could get a, I could get a little bit quicker but i am going to be paying a little bit more um and, and so i'll be paying that 50 dollars per figure so th it does get a little bit pricey there and then of course if i want it super fast you know seven to ten days uh then i'll be paying 70 dollars so it, you know it, it just it, it, when it comes to the prices between these two big uh these two grading companies uh it, it's really just gonna depend on how much you want to spend and how fast you you want your items if you don't really care like if you if you're like hey i'm on a budget i just want to get my figures graded uh then you know i'm saying it, it's probably best to um you know just pick one and and, and just you know see the wait times there and then just kind of see what 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 you're going to be happy with you know what i'm saying so um that's how the prices go man that's that's how it is so that, like i said you know it's obviously it's it's gonna go up uh or it's gonna vary um uh, with different items you know what i'm saying like prices are different when it comes to a boxed uh you know black series figure or anything else or even a a play set or a vehicle set or anything like that obviously those uh, prices are going to be different and you know like some you know one of maybe one of them might offer it a little bit cheaper and a little bit faster or the other one might just be cheaper and a little bit longer uh like i said it's really just going to be your preference on you know the price that you want to pay and of course the turnaround um, but i just wanted to use those two examples of carded because uh those those are kind of like the more common stuff you know right like people want to get you know a, a, a carded you know vintage collection figure um graded or people want to get a loose star wars action figure graded and so i just wanted to use those two examples examples but man there that's that's how it is man that's just really uh the the two differences right there on the timelines you know what i'm saying um it's just they do things a little bit different and of course the prices uh like i said it's it's way different but uh it's really up to you guys really up to you well that's pretty much how i could break it down for you guys and kind of comparing the two companies right afa and collect our archive services like i said man it's really going to be up to you on how long you want items returned to you uh the prices that you're willing to pay for but uh, i i would definitely say that you know some companies do have an upper hand on on certain things and and uh, obviously vice versa now you know like i said i do do i have a favorite uh you know for me i would say definitely i i i i I gravitate more towards collector archive services you know at the moment you know i do have a, a couple of handful of uh, loose you know kenner star wars action figures that i'm trying to finish out to uh to get them graded by afa uh and, and that's just my personal preference right but um the rest of the stuff like i'm, I'm definitely going towards more collector archive services and of course if i had the funds and stuff like that i, I would definitely get their uh, membership but you know my broke ass can't afford it uh and, and uh, you know i'm hoping that uh they watch my videos and they're like hey man we'll hook it up but uh probably not but anywho but yeah so 
you know what I'm saying? I, I, I would definitely have to say that I, 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 I gravitate more uh, collector archive services and that's the reason why I'm starting to set it in more of my vintage collection stuff. And I have a lot of other toy lines that are, are loose and, and I definitely want to, there, there's some definitely uh, unique displays that I want to put together uh, because I, I love it, man. And I, I kind of, you know, I, I kind of like the, the challenge in them and, and see how they, they perform. And so far they have not let me down. Uh, but, but you know, my, my personal thoughts are great both both of them are great companies, man, and it's really up to you. Uh, like I said, I always get the questions asked, and and, and I, I just wanted to do this video. Uh, I, I kind of had like another way of doing this, but um, you know, kind of like sending in some figures and seeing who was gonna you know return them back and everything as fast, and, and then kind of go from there. But uh, going that route of that kind of type of video wasn't gonna work due to COVID nineteen, and and pretty much you know I know these companies are kind of backed up with uh, with all of that 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 happened you know you know last year and and. and continuing on today uh so i didn't go that route but i just wanted to do this video and, and kind of just break it down to you and and show you uh, the the, the kind of like the, the benefits of, of both companies like i said i, I, I definitely uh collector archive services has a lot of perks like i said afa is just a known name that that a lot of people know of and they kind of want to go towards that the afa name you know what i'm saying it's just like uh, like I always tell people, man, it's like a Pepsi and a Coke, you know what I mean? So people have their preference and, and so, but that's pretty much it, you know? I, I hope this video helped, you know what I'm saying? I hope I didn't confuse anybody. Uh, like I said, I just kind of wanted to break it down for anybody who was out there thinking about getting stuff graded or, uh, you know what I'm saying, kind of toggling between the two grading companies, you know, Collect Archive Services or AFA. Uh, but those, those, I mean, like I said, they're both great companies. Me, my personal opinion, I'm, I'm gravitating more of Collect Archive Services just because they, they have a lot of benefits and stuff like that. Uh, and, and then plus, I know uh, I, I know what I'm going to get towards the end, right? Because they upload photos onto your account and you know what's, what's coming in. You know the grade, you know the label and all that. And you could catch errors, uh, you know what I'm saying, before they ship items out which really help with uh afa obviously it hasn't happened that many times actually it just happened to me once with my uh power of the force uh two boba fett carded figure uh the label was was um it was mislabeled right so you know it, I, I had to contact them via email and then obviously send it back to them and everything like that but uh it was a, a i would say it was a little hassle because i did have to actually get the figure back and then send it back to them with uh, collector archive services I, I caught it you know if there was an error which it has happened i caught it right there and then i contacted them and then they they held the item before shipping it back to me fixed the label and then they shipped it back so uh definitely like i said uh collector archive services is, is a grading company that i i probably uh is gonna start going more towards towards AFA like I say they're a great company but um you know they they, they, they do uh, improve a lot of uh of areas but that's pretty much it man thanks for watching guys thank you for the support and I will definitely talk to you guys in the next video